Hello everybody, my name is Cirque, and welcome for the first time to the Night Owl server. That's right, we are here on our new SMP Minecraft server. Uh, this is the new series that is going to replace the Knights of the Square Table uh, Let's Play series. And I just spawned in right over there on the in the plains, and this is not good because it's turning nighttime. But uh, over here was a jungle temple that obviously Vert got at. Um, and tore it down, took all the mossy cobble, as he does. But yeah, I'm just going to, well, I'll probably hide out for the night, and then I'm going to grab some uh, tools, some simple tools from this forest, and then our spawn town that we're going to make is actually over in that direction, so I'll probably head over there afterwards. So I will meet you over there. Kill the spider. Well, guys, I was poking around spawn. Oh, there's a zombie. And right now I'm out in the desert on my own. But I was poking around spawn, which is over, or not spawn, but our spawn town, which is over that way. Climbed up that hill and saw in the distance this nice little desert temple. And luckily, even though I am like five hours late to the party, no one has come in and, um, f and uh, looted this one yet. So let's go see what we can find in here. No. Oh, that sucks. God, ah, you stupid zombie. What the? Ah. All right, so we are here at our future uh, home of our spawn town. This is the place that we chose. It is really cool. We got some nice plains here. Uh, there was a little forest here, but it's kind of been taken out uh, for a big community project that we're working on. And lots of extreme hills around, which makes it really interesting for building. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at... We've got a lot of stuff going on already, even though the server's been only up for you know a day or so. People definitely got busy. Uh, but... I'm not sure. I think that's going to be like a potato farm or something up there. This is Dr. Paradise's little hidey hole right now. Uh, he also has a horse. And up here, Dr. Paradise has a... I think this was his his uh, egg farm. Which gives us lots of eggs for more chickens. So right here we got lots of eggs. We're going to take some of those. I'm trying to work on a good food source because we actually don't have much food for all of us right now. That's one of the biggest problems on a multiplayer server is feeding everybody. And it, yeah, we haven't quite gotten that done yet, but we're working on it. Uh, over here is our farm area. I, yeah, we got some wheat growing. We got, we got some potatoes and carrots as I have right now, although it looks like someone took a lot of the potatoes and carrots. We found some melon seeds, so we got some melons grown. Uh, here we have a automatic chicken farm, or a chicken cooker, that doesn't seem to be working all that well yet. I'm not exactly sure why, um, but yeah, I'll have to come and sit by this thing and watch it, make sure that it's working correctly. But let's put some more chickens in here. Hopefully they actually go down in there. And then throw one more and then we'll just uh, throw the rest of these eggs in here. So what this does is the chickens lay eggs and there's a hopper underneath them. And the eggs get put into a dispenser which shoots them out. And actually it sh seems like it's not shooting them out right now. Oh, there's lots of chickens in here. That's not supposed to happen. Um, oh, who broke this? What the heck? Someone broke this. There should be a repeater and a, a redstone torch here. Okay, so over here, this is the start of our Tree of Life. I believe that's what it's called. I, don't know, I think we should come up with a new name. 
because that seems very Disney. But yes, this is going to be a massive tree, and uh, up in the branches, we're going to put uh, the Night Owl logo uh, pixel art, and it's going to be really sweet. I know, yeah, Vert's pretty much, I think, the only one who's been working on this. So thanks, Vert, uh, for doing that. I'm trying to trying to get a good source of food, and then I can help him out with that, because right now everyone's pretty much starving. So let's go check out my base, which is just over here on the other side of a hill. So right over here is where I am setting up, right on the other side of this hill by this nice forest. And there's a desert over there. Actually, the desert temple, I think you can kind of see the top of where it used to be. It's been torn down because someone wanted the sandstone. Uh, but I'm thinking of planting a bunch of trees along this hillside and making a nice little uh, log cabin in a forest. I think that would be pretty cool. I've always wanted to make a log cabin for my house. I've only done it once, um, but I think that was on like Xbox version and the logs didn't go sideways. So it didn't really look very good, but yeah, I think I think that will look pretty cool. <clears throat> but right now, all I have, I have this little hidey hole that I actually just finished making. Um, we are playing on hard, so it's important to have iron doors. And uh, this is, uh, I've shown this in my single player world, but this is a very nice way to make iron doors. Um, you can push the button and the door will open up and stay open and you know will not close until you actually get inside and step on this pressure plate and the way that works is i believe it's pretty much like an rs norlatch uh let's get down here so yeah the button powers this which powers the redstone or unpowers the redstone torch uh, which will power that redstone torch. So basically it's just, yeah, an RS Norlatch between these two uh, redstone torches. This one is triggered by the button, and this one over here is triggered by the, uh, um, the pressure plate. Yes. So let's get that covered back up. Okay, and then over here I actually have uh, my own farm kind of starting up. I need to move my wheat into a better area. But right now I just have it growing alongside the river. And over here I have a few cows. Let's go breed those cows. Get some of this wheat. That way... Oh, what? I only got one seed? Well, that's terrible. Ah, oh well. Um, but yeah, this way I can just grab some food real quick here at home instead of having to, uh, run over there all the time and basically losing hunger on the way over there, especially now since we don't have a good source of food. And, uh, I've done some mining. I've gotten quite a bit of iron, not a whole lot. I think I only have six pieces left, but I made quite a few buckets and all this armor, Quite a few pickaxes and swords. I did find four diamonds, so I have a pickaxe and a shovel. And I use the shovel to go get a bunch of sand and clay. And then down here, I have my mine down in this cave. And, uh, oh, that's right. I don't think I showed you. Um, I first went exploring in this cave when I first found this spot. And over here, we have a zombie dungeon. I think I got, what did I get? I think I got iron horse armor from it. Um, and then just a few odds and ends, some bread and such. I think that dead ends over there. And it dead ends over this way too. So, I don't know. I might make a, a mob grinder out of this. Not sure. Nice XP farm right here until we get something better. And how did you get over here? I just dropped my sword. Good job. There we go. Yay, bones. Thought I had that lit up. I'll have to go place some more torches. But back here, I have my mine. 
I thought instead of being boring and making a normal stairway, I thought I'd make a nice diagonal stairway. I think it turned out pretty cool. And it opens up into a nice ravine here, which is really neat. And yeah, I don't know, not much to say about this. I mean, it's a mine, not that exciting. I haven't done too much strip mining because I haven't had enough food, but just enough to find those four diamonds. And here, yeah, this is uh, end effects potato farm, which actually looks pretty neat. I'm guessing if I step on this, uh, those, yeah, those dirt blocks will drop down, and the water will pour down, harvest all this, and uh, send it over there. I'm not sure what it does then, actually. Looks like you just have to go pick it up, maybe? I don't see any hoppers. Oh, there's a hopper. And a piston. Hmm, I'd like to see this thing in action. I haven't... Where'd it go? End effect was just here. Oh, well. Yeah, there's a hopper there, so I must put it into this chest. Oh, maybe these are carrots, actually. And you also have a furnace and a crafting table here. So yeah, that's a pretty neat little design. I like the very simple nature of it and how it looks very nice. So back at the chicken cooker, I got the uh, things to fix this. So let's get this thing going. So now I'll start throwing the eggs and the chickens will hatch onto that cake. And when they grow up, they'll get burnt by the lava. The uh, it'll, They'll drop cooked chicken feathers, which will get sucked through the cake, into the hopper, and into this chest. I have one raw chicken in there. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, I know, there, I know there's no chicken in there because any chicken that it has been producing has been taken. Um, which is fine. I mean, that's what it's used for. But yeah, we definitely need this chicken. Um, but yeah, since I let all the chickens loose, we're going to have to put some more in here. So I brought a lot more eggs. Yeah, we are playing uh, the server on hard, and <laughs> but the new social zombies, it is pretty crazy. You basically cannot do anything at night because you will get mobs of zombies on you. And that skeleton, I don't trust him. Hopefully I have enough arrows. Okay, <laughs> looks like they're bouncing off his face. There we go. Look at this, this is nuts. Yeah. So, definitely have to uh, sleep a lot on the server. There's no, uh, you know, it's, even if you have full enchanted diamond armor, you know, and you don't have to worry about dying, it's still, you can't do anything outside at night because you'll be constantly just fighting off zombies. Uh, so that's a bit of a challenge, but it makes it fun. And, you know, with the hard mode, we should be able to get a nice witch farm going eventually, which will be nice. Uh, but anyways, I think we'll just end it here, because we're not going to get down from here until the end of the night. And I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show you on this first episode. Uh, not a whole lot going on, but it is, you know, the first episode. Where's that zombie going? I'm just kind of left with his shovel. Like, nah. Oh, I guess they're getting bored with me. But anyways, remember to leave a comment if you have any advice on what I should work on or any questions for me. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye, peoples.